Good day ladies and gentlemen, this is Professor Ma. Today, Professor Ma will examine the curious case of the race car with a motorcycle engine. A car essentially has two major components, the propulsion system and the steering system. What is a propulsion system? Propulsion means to push forward or drive an object forward. A propulsion system is a machine that produces the force to push an object forward. In a car, the main component of the propulsion system is the engine. Let us look closer at engines. Engines are usually differentiated by engine size. Engine size refers to the space inside a motor cylinders, in which air and fuel combine and are ignited to create the energy needed to power the car. Essentially, the larger the volume of the cylinders, the more room there is for air and fuel inside it, which dictates how much power it can produce. Usually, a bigger engine means more air and fuel, which in turn creates more power. However, the reality is a little more complicated than that. Many modern engines are smaller but feature turbochargers, which use exhaust fumes to create additional fuel and extra power. This means that a smaller engine with a turbocharger can be more powerful than a larger engine without one. If countries were cars, the engine size would be the population of the country. The power generated by the engine would be the gross domestic product, GDP, of the country. For example, if we were to compare Singapore and China, China would have a much larger engine capacity with a population of 1,411,750,000 compared to Singapore with a population of 5,637,000. In terms of GDP, China has a GDP of 19.374 trillion United States dollars while Singapore has a GDP of 515.548 billion United States dollars. Hence China's GDP is about 40 times of Singapore's GDP. In terms of GDP per capita, China's GDP per capita is 13,721 United States dollars while Singapore's GDP per capita is 91,100 United States dollars. Basically, if countries were cars, China would have a truck engine and Singapore would have a turbocharged motorcycle engine. If countries were cars, the steering system would be the leadership of the country. This pictorial from the website Seedly.sg shows the salaries of world leaders and it can be clearly seen that the salary for the Prime Minister of Singapore is in a totally different league compared to the paramount leader of China. Assuming that Singapore is getting value for money for what we pay our leader, Singapore would therefore have a race car steering system and China would have a normal car steering system. This makes Singapore a race car with a motorcycle engine. What the fork? In subsequent videos, Professor Ma will analyze more issues of interest. In the meantime, please help by liking and by subscribing. Thank you.